Okay, so this is the worksheet. The first part uh, tells you how to use the tutorial and there's a series of videos. Uh, you, can, you can check uh, these videos right away. They are linked in the tutorial itself. And then the second part is of the worksheet is the actual task of the homework, um, the one that you will submit on Moodle. Here you basically create a class diagram and instances. And the class diagram needs to have at least five classes eight attributes in total so maybe some class has two uh, another one might have three something like that and four associations so these are minimum numbers you can uh, of course go beyond that if it makes sense then you need to generate code for the class diagram you need to add at least one ocl constraint to the class diagram um, and then you need to create one instance that fails the OCL constraint and one instance that passes validation. So basically, um, this is what, what happened here in one of these chapters, either 13 or 14, I think it's 14. Um, you can create the instances using the editor. That's probably the easiest, um, but you can also programmatically create them if you want. And to see whether everything works, there are some test cases and they should in the end all pass. When you submit so let's have a look we're going to import the template so we're going to use this template uh, genf lab one zip we're going to import that as an existing project into the workspace so if you uh, don't see this because you already have stuff here in your package explorer you can also go here into import and then existing project into workspace then we need to select an archive file and find where this is. So this would be the gender flap one zip. This is all all the project information. Everything should be in there. If you're using a different version of Eclipse, you might have to mess around a little bit with this stuff. But otherwise, uh, if you're using the one suggested, it, it should everything everything should work. Um. So now let's find the class diagram in model. Uh, as usual, we have the uh, all the modeling stuff. And then if you open this or, or go to the modeling perspective, well, we'll see that there already exists a class diagram and that's the one we're going to edit. Uh, right now you see there are no classes. This is an empty model and also the eco model is empty. We just have the, the existing package. Um, so it will be your task to create these classes. Now I said there are some test cases and they will allow you to check your status. So if you just right click on the project and say run as JUnit test, then the test cases will run. You will see this. Right now we're not doing so well. Um, we already know that the model exists uh, and the model also validates. Well, it's, it's empty. So yeah, here we have some exceptions because we didn't generate the code yet and we didn't create uh, instances. So yeah, we'll continue, maybe create some classes. Okay, this looks not bad, five classes, right? We, we might give them nice names and things like that. And then just to check, we will rerun all the test cases. Oop, now we see the model exists. We have five or more classes, that's great. The model still validates um, and we can move on. So then, we need to add some attributes. Yeah, let's add some attributes. Save it and see how we're doing. Suddenly, we're doing not so well. The model doesn't validate anymore. And uh, also here, the printout, we see some of the things that might be going on. Um, so there are some issues detected there. Uh, maybe not two features called new attribute. This already. Uh, we, we see it already here, so we don't have to run the test cases to see these issues in the editor already. We can also look at the problems. There are some problems here. Uh, they must have types, stuff like that. So make it a nice class diagram. Um, now I'm just going to add yeah, another empty one. Um, then we need to generate code. And yeah, I think this is all from here. It's probably everything uh, self-explanatory. It works the same way as, um, ah, now we have two classifiers called class five, great. Uh, so it's, it's probably all, uh, yeah, here. 
Um, that's because we deleted one and added one. But yeah, basically from here, it's everything as as in the uh, tutorials. And if you do the tutorial, you should be able to um, to achieve that all the test cases passed. Um, in the end, so here you only need to generate the model code. We don't need the edit or editor code. Um, and even if you generate it, then just don't submit it. Um, so in the end, to submit, what you will do is you will right click on this project, the one. Uh, so don't change any project names. Don't check, chase, change, change any uh, names of models or any packages. Uh, just say export here, archive file. Then have everything selected. We're just going to uh, export everything. Export it. Here you need to give the name of a zip file. Um, the rest should all be default. You say finish, and then this is what you can upload on Moodle. Just make sure that all the test cases uh, pass. And yeah, that's that's it for this task.